Hello there lads and lassies, welcome to Scottish Geeks. Today we're playing Maze. Maze is one of those games that comes out in Steam every so often. It just looks so weird that you can't help yourself but play it. And yeah, I'm not talking about Gems Little Joust thing. I do have that, but I'm too scared to play it in case I get a strike from YouTube. What in the actual hell, you guys? Alright. Okay, standard uh, thoroughfare of Waz to walk and mouse to look around. I'm fine with that. Shift to run. So I'm guessing we're following those weird corny guys. Hmm. Kind of a strange idea. The the trailer for this game was hilarious. With the sort of the, the genetically modified corn getting really pissed off at the crow trying to peck at it. Yeah, what was I say? Uh, that way lies the river. Okay. What's this thing? When the pointing hand icon appears, click the left mouse button to interact. Okay. So we DNA, a hand, and something circular. Okay. So we're heading off towards the house here. So let's just run. Press escape or P to enter the pause menu. I'd rather not, thank you very much. I'm quite happy not being in the pause menu. And I'm just running through this maze here because I always get lost when it comes to mazes. Like so! Yay! Stay to the right, Derek. Stay to the right. Okay, off we go. So I'm kind of wondering if this is going to be like a horror game with jump scares or stuff like that, or if it's going to be a standard sort of exploration thing. What do we have here? A muffin. You did a great job at... Did you guys see that? Okay, new path is open for you. Okay. Oh, we can move it around with that. Okay. Anything else? Oh, there's a welcome note as well. What's that say? Why is there a bunch of other stuff there? That's weird. A note leisurely scribbled includes a stock greeting and encourages the reader to enjoy the complimentary snack on the desk. Notes the reader to mind the boxes and also says open the big door and we'll probably say hello. Why is that there? It must be a bug or something. I mean, stuff we're still meant to collect or something like that. Let's find it. Press E to examine your equipped item and clues how to use it. Okay. I need to equip it first. Okay. Hard as granite, this muffin is the most definitely nowhere near fit for consumption, despite how much you try. All you've done is given yourself a headache. Fair enough. Uh, right, we're heading back towards the house. Right, let's put that back in our pocket just now. Press the spacebar. Yeah, we know about the spacebar thing. I just pressed the spacebar because I was trying to jump. Trying to make it look like we were actually doing something. Okay, can we get in here? Uh, no, we're going to need to find a key. Where would a key be? Uh, let's have a look around. Okay, that way leads to the barn. Uh, is that... Is that that corn block in my path? Oh no, boxes! I can't get by boxes. Are we human or are we corn? That's what I want to know. What's that a song? Are we human or are we corn? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, storm cellar. There appears to be something there. Okay, so anything... Anything glowy means we can use it. So let's see, can we go in the back door? No, but there's something in there. Alright, fine. Okay, cool. What else do we have here? Ooh. Glowy. Open the chicken coop door. What's in here? What have we got? <gasps> key! Okay, cool. Key. Right, I've got a key now. Let's go and open that door. See what we can find inside this place. Oh, is this going to be one of the... Like I said, is this going to be one of those freaky games or is this just going to be like a, an adventure game with a with a ding noise? That's nice. Okay. Open the farmhouse door. What do we have in here? Okay, let's try here first. Nothing. Uh, what's that? A uh, bobby pin. Hmm. What happened to Dave pin and John pin? It's always bobby pin. So that's, an item could be placed there. I wonder what that item could be. It's like some sort of a crate. At least it's showing you the shape of it. So no, I don't think this game is going to be too taxing. Uh, nothing in there. It's quite a dark room though. Anything in here? Anything at all? No. But looks of it, no. Nothing in here either. Oh, there we go. There's a crate. Okay, let's go take that back up the stairs this night. Take the crate and put it in here. Okay, now what do we do? Nothing. Alright, okay, we need to find something else then, I'm guessing. Let's see what else we've got in this room first. Uh, ooh, meat grinder, okay. A sausage grinder, something is jammed inside. Okay, we need to find something to take whatever the hell that is out of there. 
Rancid corn oil. Rancid corn oil. Wow. I want to see about that. Though the smell is strong enough to overcome a herd of yaks, you could use it to loosen something you need to remove. For some reason, an image of a gloved hand pops into your head, leading directly to you walking straight into a wall. What? Okay. Uh -huh. What's that? Bathtub plug. Okay, that's fine. Sink is now plugged. Okay, what? Well, oh, what's this? Nail clippers. Can we use anything else? Oh, the corn oil. Right, okay, so that's in there now for some reason. So I wonder if we need a pair of gloves or something. Sorry, I'm just looking around here just to see what there is, but there seems to be something here. Press C to crouch. A concealed switch. Unlocked a secret door, making it much less secret. Which I'm guessing would be this thing here. Okay. What do we have here? A fuse box, missing a fuse. Alright, okay, so um I'm happy with that. What's over here? Oh, it's the storm cellar latch. Okay, I guess we should probably explore a little bit more, see what we can find. So, there was nothing else really around this area. I don't know, I just... I'm happy enough just <laughs> walking about, having fun. Um, no matter how many times you press it, Q still does nothing. Okay, what do we have here? Do we have anything? Yeah, but the corn seems to still be rattling around. Oh, what's this? A rusty nail jammed in a wall. Do you have anything we can take it out with? Maybe the bobby pin. Uh, English muffin. Nail clippers? Nail clippers! Okay. What does I say? For some reason, the first thing that pops in your head is, would be good to conduct a village to see possibly as a fuse. Okay. So it's not too, like I said, not too taxing. It's quite self explanatory. It's a very nice looking game though. Graphically, it's quite pretty. And is there anything around here? I already checked there, didn't I? Okay, back down. Let's use the fuse. Okay. Use Rusty Nail as a fuse against safety regulations. Restored power to the farmhouse is still slightly less dark than before, meaning we could probably find some more stuff, I would guess. So we had some odd noises happening now, though. I give you guys feeling something's following me, it's weird. Let's head upstairs. Anything around here? It's an old sink again. What's going on? Oh, CD player. Open to CD player. Picked up a CD, good for you. A new path is open to you. The barn in the silo. What's it say? Old CD is labelled faded, pressed in the first batch of CDs ever created. This brand was notoriously expensive and even more unreliable, making the greatest of symphonies sound like something a concussed elephant would make while stumbling around a music shop. Funky. Oh, look at Nintendo! Okay. So let's have a look. Is there anything else in here? Anything else opened up? No, apparently not. Anything opened up up the stairs? Uh, no, it's a big wardrobe and everything. So no, nothing, nothing new up this way. That's still blocked off. So we need to find a way to get in there. Hmm. Don't think a CD is going to hack it. Although I do think I know what the CD is for. I think the CD is for, like that that big door, with the round bit in it. So let's head over this way. Hello, Mr. Man. What have you got? Uh, a broken shovel handle. Okay, anything else? And yeah, now he's broken. So that's still broken off. Okay. Can we use this broken shovel handle? Ooh, I just thought of something. We could use it as a lever. Ooh, that may be fun. Okay, here we go. Yeah, see, I'm a genius. I am a total genius when it comes to shit like that. Okay, what have we got up here? Anything? 
There's toaster. Doesn't seem to be much else though. Okay. Oh, we've got a mallet. And an item can be placed there. Okay, so we've got a mallet now. Right, fine. Okay, we'll go back downstairs. I'm going to see what other areas have opened up. So it's something about a silo opening up, so... Let's see what we can find. Is it going to be something over this way, maybe? I don't know. Shall we see? Running, 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 running. Running with a mallet. Yeah, I know. I'm already holding the shift key to sprint. Thank you very much. It's as if it doesn't know me at all. Or so if you suck, remember to press E to examine your equipped item for clue. Okay, so do we have anything in here we can use? Apparently not so far. Oh, what's this? A book titled Corn of the World. A book outlining the differences and similarities of corn species across the globe. Several chapters also discuss the colour yellow. A few species are circled in red pen, while no, no, no appears in many places across the book in blue pen. The mystery is unravelling, boys and girls. The mystery is unravelling. Okay. I don't even want to know what they were doing in this place. Well, actually, I do want to know what they were doing in this place. Okay, we've got a broom now. What can we use the broom for? Is that gloves? Did mention something about gloves, didn't it? Maybe we can hide in there. What's this? One half of a diagram. A diagram torn in half. It contains a very complicated looking equation scribbled in an orange pen. A drawing of a person and a DNA helix. Looks very important. You tried to eat it at first, but changed your mind when you couldn't find any salt. Okay. Got some weights here, and who the, who the hell's that? Is that Hulk Hogan with a mullet? Might be. I don't know. So we've got a broom. What, what's this about the broom? There's a pile of something or other you can sweep up with us, but you already knew that. What you didn't know is this broom is haunted. This will not affect your adventure in any way, as the ghost is currently away in business. Okay, so what, what, what do we sweep up? Like I said, there was another area apparently opened up, so I'm going to walk around this place and see what we can find. If anything. What's this? I was pointing this way. Okay. Electricity area. But I want to go here first. What's here? Padlock. Ooh, maybe we can open it with a mallet. Or oh, the bobby pin. Bobby pin, yay! Okay, let's open the doors. What do we have here? Uh, open, okay, brim. Okay, we've got uh, needle nose pliers. What's this? And we've got that. Manufactured about a century ago, the telescope's effect effective range is the tops of low hanging trees. Possibly because its lenses were put in backwards. Okay, so we've got that. So what's this? A blueprint. Though it's hard to make out, this blueprint looks like it's a construction of a very large and very poorly planned facility with a farm situated on top of it. The facility itself has actually set an architectural uh, record for having the largest number of corridors that lead absolutely nowhere. Well, isn't that nice? So we've got a pair of pliers. I think I know what we do with these. So let's head back to the house. Okay, so let's head this way first. Because something, uh, something tells me this is going to be... I'm not pressing Q. What's this? What have we got here? A gloved severed hand. And there we go. Yeah. There, there's apparently um. Yeah, it's a it's a skeleton with its nipples being pinched. Okay. So I'm gonna be over here slightly. You can put that there, and that is gonna be my screenshot for today. Okay, so that's good. There's nothing else we can do here. There's a, a box there, but there's nothing to do with it. Okay, fine. Right, we're heading back to the big farmhouse now. I've got my pliers. I think I know what to do with them. Hopefully it'll be a good idea to use them. Do, 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 do. Let's see what it says uh, about the gloved severed hand. Oh, needle those pliers first. 
Sausage grinder, yeah, I knew that. Perfectly preserved in glove cases, it could come in handy if you could give yourself a hand and find a way to loosen that glove off. Okay, I know what to do with it now. Doesn't take much thought, really. So once we get back to the house and we do the couple of things that I'm going to do here, we're going to end this episode. And I'll bring out another episode very, very soon. But yeah, we're going to keep going for the minute. It's a good game. I am enjoying it. Don't know why people would think I don't. Okay. Let's see. Right, we'll listen to that. The pliers. Okay, here we go. A warped key fob. Okay, and the glove. There we go. That's us. Okay, so we've got the severed hand now. Fine. Cool. Everything's working out in my favour. Yeah, let's go back upstairs because there was a section here that we could put something on and it looked exactly like the thing that came out of the sausage grinder. That's that. Put that there and then we used a mallet. And we've got a key fob. Okay, good. Right. Now we all know what's going to happen next. So I'm just going to say thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Please do share these videos with your friends and family and everyone you know because, you know, that's just the way that friendly people do things. Um, subscribe, Patreon, video links. Catch you next time. Bye-bye.